Hi everyone, this is a video about uh, this Iowa uh, Walkman or personal cassette player that the model number is uh, I think let me just open this here it says is HS PX 547 and here we have the top model in in this user manual at this user manual it goes for px447 lx200 and ex200 as well so we are going to have a look at that and this is the item itself i must say this one is one of the rarest item uh, in uh, I wore my uh, collections because the color of it is green because it comes also in gray color as well identical exactly identical but this one is um, green this one and this is somehow metallic green and this is metallic gray anyway we are going to talk about this item uh, this item, you know, is very rare, as, I'm, as I have mentioned, but what is bad about it, it takes one of these Iowa um, very selective batteries that is very rare to find right now. The good thing about it is that it also takes two AAA batteries so that is fantastic if you can't find this you can use the two triple a batteries and this one i must say just uh, for those that they know they don't know if these are old batteries and even though uh, that if you have the charger and if this one gone dry you cannot revive this and you know there is a video on uh, youtube that it shows a chinese or japanese guy who opened this and then there is a plug there added some sort of distilled water in there and then you know massage it and you know wait for it and uh, to absorb everywhere and then added some more distilled water and then put it in a charger and it's going to accept charge. So this one is, uh, although that it has this battery, this battery is dead, but if you have the wall adapter for this, two volts center uh, positive, the center negative, as you see, you have to be very careful about this, center negative, you can also charge this. Or if you have a, you know, uh, some sort of um, um, desktop um, voltage regulator, you can just uh, put a two volt here and then charge this. But unfortunately, if they've gone dry, the distilled water has, has just, you know, <coughs> evaporated totally. So you cannot revive this until you open up and there is a, <coughs> sorry about this, there is a plug underneath and then you can just add some distilled water and you know, charge this, try to charge this. But most of the Sony one is taking one of these uh, gumstick batteries that are readily available. You can uh, use these with, uh, you know, Sony's, but you cannot use any other batteries with this other than two AAA batteries. And that is very thoughtful of the uh, Iowa to do that because they knew that this battery is going to discontinue. Anyhow, let me show you this one. This one is for all these models that you can see here 
it's very long and it doesn't fit into my uh, framework here it just shows you how to clean it how to uh, insert the batteries and so on and so forth it's not much in here uh, but the only thing is uh, it shows you the remote control that it has uh, uh, unfortunately I don't have the remote control with this unit so I put this aside here so this one is in nearly mint condition with a little bit of uh, scratches at the back that is normal because as I mentioned in my other rants about Sony Walkmans and Iva is suffering from the same faith as well because it doesn't have just some sort of legs just some sort of notches here that when you just put it on the table it doesn't scratch this shiny lovely surface just you know those four tiny points would be a scratch and this one is uh, in relatively good condition and the head is in good condition as well if you look at it and the reason that i'm telling this is because uh, as you as a um, uh, you might know most of these walkmans when you uh, first put a tape in there they automatically going to the forward playback so the forward playback is most used in this because of that the head is going to be deteriorate soon uh, the forward position of that and the forward position let me just show you the forward position is this this part not the bottom one this part is the forward position and some people because they cannot get trip out of this uh, these walkmans they think is because of the pinch roller or because of the capstan or because you know something is wrong with this unit um, but they never guess that the head is a spent especially especially the forward position is a spent so is uh, somehow um, makes them uh, you know uh, wonder why is just not performing as well anyhow that was uh, something that you must know because some people they buy these old units this one is from the early 90s so uh, because of that is uh, you know some people they used it a lot but they kept it in perfect condition but the head unfortunately is uh, used so much that the forward position is really not performing as it should anyhow this unit it has just uh, you know some sound processor and it's just a cassette player not a radio player nothing else and it has auto reverse and the Dolby let me just show you here Dolby normal Dolby not Dolby B and the volume here and the headphone here and this is the battery compartment as as you see it has a space for these or two triple a batteries and when you put the battery inside it just checks everything and you know rewind and fast forward a little bit to get the slack out of the tape and then it's get, getting the tape ready for you to just uh, play it back and we have a sound processor here flat pop rock and jazz and if you are interested in the graphs of that here we have a graph that it shows you 
the equalizer graph that how is managing jazz, rock, pop, and flat. That's it, and it's anti-rolling mechanism and diesel, uh, one of the very rare ones because it has a twin locking mechanism. It's like these. Most of the Sony's and Panasonic's, it has only one locking mechanism and here it says twin lock as well so it's really good and um, it's, it's just a very good quality unit but there are some quirks about this first of all before i forget if you have uh, let me just get one of these uh, 3.5 uh, headphone jacks if you have one of these four segments uh, jacks if you put it all the way in is going to play mono and you have to get it a little bit out in order to get the a stereo effect other than that if your headphone has the uh, three segments and everything is going to work perfectly but for four segments is uh, really uh, you know you have to spend time to know how far you should take it out in order to get the stereo effect anyhow and the second cork about this is the changing of the belt the belt changing in this is really a headache because it involves lots of uh, desoldering and removing the PCB uh, from top of the motor and the belt and then put the belt in and then uh, resolder them. I show you uh, an image of that. Oh. OCD attack yeah and then here we have the let me find the picture here here is the picture of inside this and as you see the PCB is covering the motor and all other gears and pulleys inside here so you have to desolder. Let me just see if I can maximize this. You have to desolder these four, these three, and then in some cases you have to desolder these, but in this case we don't have to. And then there are some uh, negative and positive sometimes but you have to do on uh, desolder the negative here in order for this to flip this way and then you can have access to the motor and the pulleys inside here like this one that is revealed here and some of them uh, it has the auto reverse mechanism that you have to also do the auto reverse mechanism the soldering desoldering as well so in this case this is rather is really really difficult to do so so if you are not a uh, you know connoisseur of collecting a um, uh, walkman's and uh, if you uh, you don't have any skills in soldering and desoldering so you're going to have some problem if this uh, you come across this you better uh, find uh, the one that is already serviced rather than you know the one that you have to uh, you know do service yourself because some of them they sell them as parts or not working so um, they are cheap but if you have the skill you can buy them and revive them and then you know put it in your selection and the price of this 
because it's, uh, the color is green, it starts from 50 pounds up to some people they are selling this for 200 pounds just just the unit itself without any headphones or uh, inline remote control headphone or a charger or anything else so this one is very rare because it's green but the silver one is more available uh, for some people they are selling this from 50 up to uh, 150 pounds so uh, if they are in working order it's worth every penny because the quality is fantastic but before you buy them look at how they looked after the unit look at it and then if you see lots of scratches it means it's been used a lot so forget about it but if they are in good condition like this one by all means you can spend up to 100 pounds you know just the unit itself other than that don't go further than that so now is the time to just put some tape in there and see how it sounds like And we put the uh, uh, speaker in, and I hope my speaker is on. So I press the play. This is flat. This is pop. rock and jazz it has more bass into it And the mechanism here is really, really, you know, quiet, very civilized, uh, you know. For instance, when you are asleep and other people are sleeping in the same room, it doesn't, you know, uh, you know, interfere with anyone else. Uh, so it's really good. So on the top, we have hold, off and on, and then, we have battery indicator and then here we have Dolby let me just see it has Dolby B so Dolby B is very rare as well and then fast forward cue rewind cue as well as you see that it just it doesn't sounds too loud like some of the Sony ones and this one it has a big aperture here you can see both uh, you know uh, sides of the tape that how far you're uh, in the in your cassette and you know it's, it's really good so this was my rant about this uh, Iowa 547 HS PX 547 with Dolby B and I fully recommend this for the reasons that I've just told you but if it's really I just wanted to show you the uh, you know the sound how it sounds like when you are doing the auto reverse and then fast forward and then rewind and then play anyway fully recommended if in this condition you find this uh, you are lucky 
and the head is is in good condition in this case and um, I hope you know you enjoyed this video and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time